Now, the ISI honey trapped a 38 year old Indian Army officer on foreign deputation. It's the second incident of uh, such an incident taking place uh, this year alone. We have uh, National Affairs Editor Srinjoy Chaudhary joining us live with the details. Srinjoy. Yes, these are the details. We know it's a Lieutenant Colonel of the Indian Army. He was posted uh, to Dhaka on a course. And in the, uh, while he was at the course, he was honey trapped by the ISI. The, the affair uh, with a lady uh, who was clearly a, uh, an ISI operative went on for two months. And once uh, it, it was, uh, it, uh, the ISI approached him with the tapes, with photographs, he directly went to the Indian High Commission and confessed his, uh, uh, what had happened. After which he was immediately flown back to India. And uh, here he has made a full confession. He has written out his confession and he has gone to the army with all details of what has happened. Now this Lieutenant Colonel of the Indian Army of the Infantry uh, is undergoing court-martial and this is what we hear, have to hear from the army itself. The army makes it very clear that yes, all the information is with the army. Number one, they know who were the people who were responsible for this honey trap operation and according to top level sources in the Indian Army, the finger of suspicion points towards the ISI. Uh, they also know uh, what information was asked of this Lieutenant Colonel and what little or what was not given by the Army officer, who as we know immediately ran off to the Indian High Commission and was pushed back to India. The third point we know is that action already has begun against him. He has been, uh, the court of inquiry is already in place, he is being court-martialed and firm action will be taken against him. What we hear from our sources is that there is no doubt that action will be taken and it is very likely that he will have to leave the army. He is likely to be thrown out of the army is what we hear. Firm action will be taken and that has been promised by the army.